What's up everybody and welcome back in for another episode of Swiss Cheese and Beats. My name is Daniel, this is episode 14, and today we're gonna continue on with the Region 12 Middle School Audition Music, but today we're specifically gonna talk about the Two Mallet Marimba Etude. Before getting into the Etude, I would like to give a huge thank you to Adam Tan, who produces the percussion show, The Studio. If you haven't checked out Adam's channel yet, there is a link down below, or you can even click over here. I've also listed him as a feature channel on my YouTube homepage, so you can also find a link there. Adam is based out of Perth, Australia. He does reviews on anything based around marimba. He started his show reviewing his marimba one Izzy that he personally owns. He just did a review on the new Vibe One that's come out from Marimba One. He makes super high quality content that is really informative, really entertaining. On Monday morning, well every morning really, what I usually do when I wake up, the first thing that I'm willing to bet most of you also do, is you roll over, you pick up your phone, and you start going through things like email, social media, blah, 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 blah. And so I opened my email and in my inbox there was quite a few email notifications from YouTube letting me know that a bunch of people had been subscribing to the channel. And it was a little bit strange to me because at first I thought, oh great, somebody got a hold of my channel as far as spam goes and now all of these fake subscribers are coming in. And then I opened up my YouTube app and I am subscribed to Adam's channel and I had seen that he released a new video. So I start watching it and within the first few minutes I see this. Shout out to the plug, Daniel. Granted, he said a lot more than that, but this is by far the absolute best part of the recommendation. So Adam, once again, thank you so very much. I wish I was gonna be at PASIC this year, that way I could meet up with you and go check out your talk. For those of you that don't know, Adam is gonna be on a panel with Rob Knopper, as well as a couple of other really, really high quality percussionists. They're gonna be talking about percussion and the future of percussion, specifically in the online world. So if you get a chance, go show some support to Adam at PASIC. Go subscribe to his channel here on YouTube. Check out his website. He has a lot of really cool things that you can do to become a part of the studio family. Now onto the Etude. The Region 12 Marimba Etude comes out of Masterpieces for Marimba. It is a collection of classical pieces composed by classical composers, composers such as Bach and Handel, and each of these has been arranged for marimba by Thomas McMillan. This book has been around for quite a while. It was first published in 1985. It is a great book to have in your library as you're working to develop your marimba skill set. So if you don't have it, I highly recommend picking it up. You can find it at most music stores, but if you just want to order it online, there is a link down below for you to check it out. The A2 that we're going to be talking about today was composed by Tilimon. It's actually Sonatina number no. one for violin and piano. Now, something I highly suggest when you're learning a classical piece such as this one is to try to find a recording of the piece done so on the original instrument it was intended. In this case, this piece was written originally for a violin, and after looking around a little bit, I did find one video here on YouTube of someone performing this piece on the violin. You can find a link for that down below. You can also click over here. You can also find many recordings of this piece done across all different type of music platforms available today. Now the etude is pretty short, it's pretty straightforward. They have made a small cut in the etude. You'll actually be performing the beginning through count two of measure 24. The tempo marking for the piece is Allegretto, which is between 96 and 108 beats per minute. Nothing too fast, in fact, just a little bit slower than Allegro tempo marking. And so you should be able to play everything nice and fluid and in control at the tempo that's marked. At the top left of the piece, you're gonna see a small performance note, which says to roll all quarter notes and longer. However, there are quarter notes that you will not roll, and those quarter notes are notated with a staccato marking. The staccato marking is just a simple dot that is above or below the note head, depending on which way the stem is facing. So what I've done in the performance of this etude for all quarter notes that I've rolled, I've placed five notes on each roll to create consistency throughout the piece, and whenever I have quarter notes notated with a staccato marking, I simply strike the bar, but do not play a roll. The piece is written in common time or 4-4 time signature, which is as straightforward as it's gonna get. There aren't any tricky rhythms in the piece whatsoever, which I really love, especially for the age group and level that this etude was picked out for. You get to focus strictly on executing quality marimba playing without having to be worried about being trapped or falling into some kind of sticky situation. There is a trill in measure 19, and what a trill is is a combination of two specific notes that you'd be playing a roll on. 
there's a little bit more to it that can really take us off the track of sticking to the etude, so I won't go into too many details about that. But in this case, the trill was a combination of a two note roll between G and F sharp, and then it resolves to an E natural. Now in the piece, there are stickings that are suggested, and I highly recommend that you follow them to the T. When I was going over this piece to record it, I did try some other stickings, however, none of them worked quite as well as what's already written in the music. For the audition, you can go ahead and skip repeats. This won't be required of you, especially with anywhere around 100 percussionists auditioning. There's just not gonna be that much time to hear everybody, so go ahead and skip the repeats throughout this piece. The one area I would say to be a little cautious on is that there are a ton of accidentals written throughout the piece. Remember that if you see an accidental, the accidental holds for the entire measure unless it's notated otherwise. Once you cross the bar line, then that accidental no longer holds true. Other than that, as I've already said, I think this is a really great piece for the skill level of the students who are going to audition. So here's gonna be the Tileman Sonatina performed at 108 beats a minute. In the comment section down below, please be sure to leave your questions for anything that may be giving you trouble or anything you're unsure about. Also, if I've left anything out, please be sure to leave that down below for anybody else who's checking this out. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have yet to do so, please consider subscribing to the channel. There's some fun stuff on the way, including our very first drumstick review, which I'm super excited about, so be on the lookout for that as well. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next time.